without wasting much time, I will call our dear, my daughter Susie, to come out with me, away for the man of God. a beautiful voice that you have to clap your hand and give glory to God. Hallelujah. You know, these kind of people that are, you know, making money outside, they sing and you see dancing and all that. We have a lot of people here that have a good voice that we can also sing and make money. So please get your mind ready. We're going to go that way. Hallelujah. Amen. One day we're here as uh, open that ministry. Uh, what is, uh, hallelujah. Amen. Please, uh, let's humble ourselves. This is the time that uh, the word is about to come. Come and uh, humble yourself. 
that I'm not the one who introduced the speaker for the day, but I will call our senior pastor to Can you please sing that song, the first one? your grace get hold of us 
this is the time that you have set to use what you have gifted to glorify yourself. May it be done as you are predestined it to be. In Jesus' name, Amen. Please let me seated even as the Holy Spirit bring us the way. Amen. Amen. God is good. All the time. All the time. God is good. In one time, one point, one point in time, I thought we were still kick in the oven otherwise the master turned us around. So chilling in the oven, looking up to the master. But in another time, it was like, no, it's not enough. You need to come out. <laughs> you need to come out so that we will see how tasteful you are. Amen. We thank God for such an opportunity. And we, I thank the senior pastor together with all the pastors and the members for giving us this opportunity. Amen. Amen. We are about to listen to the word of God. The Holy Spirit has something more than normal food for us. Amen. This morning, the Holy Spirit has a word for us with a topic. What will the righteous do when the foundation is destroyed? Amen. What will the righteous do? When the foundation is destroyed. Fast forward, let's open our scriptures to the book to the book of Psalm eleven. We are taking our scripture reading from Psalm eleven, the verse three. It says after the three, I will start from the one again. It says, When the foundations have been destroyed, what can the righteous do? I start from the one. He says, in the way. I said, he said, in the Lord, I take refuge. How then can you say to me, flee like a bird to your mountain? For look, the wicked bend their bows. They set their arrows against the strings to shoot from the shadow at the upright in heart. When the foundations are being destroyed, what can the righteous do? The force says, the Lord is in his holy temple. The Lord is on his heavenly throne. He observes the sons of men. His eyes examine them. The Lord examines the righteous, but the wicked and those who love violence is so hate. On the wicked, he will rain fiery coals and burning sulfur. A scorching wind will be their lot, for the Lord is righteous. He loves justice. Upright men will see his face. Amen. Brethren, when the foundation of the righteous is destroyed, what will the righteous do? Amen. Amen. You know, we are in a time that everything is kind of turning upside down. If you look at the in, if you look at the polit, that politician we, if you view it in that way and you even add it with the church it's like when things have been putting it's been put out of order when justice is 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 kind of banned when the law that is said are, are not being followed when red light is now turned to green light yellow is turned to red things are kind of scattered Somebody will say, when it comes to politics, there is no Jesus. Set Jesus aside. 
One thing I know that right from the beginning of the scriptures, Genesis to Revelation, God placed the kings on his throne and he bring down the king. Amen. Amen. So you can't take God out of the equation. So, but when everything is out of order, when the laws, the rules are turned upside down, Everybody is doing what he likes. When the country that was founded by the ancient people by relying on Jesus Christ. Amen. When, when the foundation of the country was founded by those who believe in Christ is now turned upside down. Then probably Christians is going to affect us. Amen. What are we going to do when the truth is turned around? What will we do? Amen. When the principle of doctrine is being attacked, when the Lord which we serve is being mocked at, I've never gone to online Facebook and seen Buddha, Muhammad, being made a mockery of. But go to online and you just type something. Sure. You'll see our king being put in the garment of gay. A whole lot of mockery stops. And when that happened, they remember even your king this is what they are doing to him. How much more you? A servant is no more than his master. So when we see all these things, what are we to do? When our shepherd is being trampled over by the forces of this world and their evil deeds, what are we to do? What are we supposed to do? Amen. You talk of God to the pedestrian or somebody walking by the roadside, you ask him about God and he will look like you, like a masquerade. Like you were a new creature on this earth, speaking something so rare to him. Meanwhile, does anybody have hundred dollars with him, with him or her or any dollar? Do you have had any dollar with you? Do somebody have any dollar with you? Please open it and read what is written on the dollar. Let me see. Let me let me hear. Amen. Please, do, Amen. Mister Joe says, just say something. Amen. Amen. I have a dollar with me and I'm seeing the United States of America. I'm seeing one dollar and all sort of and some Washington DC, a whole lot of stuff. But there's one word over here which says that in God we trust. In God we trust. So they're going and forth. They're crocking, crock out. Whatever we are just toiling off. The money believe in Jesus Christ. The people that will not let us rest. Amen. Without this, this dollar, regardless of the power that we have been given in the White House, you are meaningless. Amen. Regardless of the power that you hold, in the White House, you are meaningless. But on it, it is written so boldly, in God we trust. So then, why will you make mockery of this God? When the ancient, the founders of this country believe in that name, that without that name, there was no way this country would have had good foundation. Amen. How then? 
We don't have only just Christians in the White House. We have different believers. Those who believe in Mohammed, those who believe in Buddha, whatever, the enchanters. But I've never seen, did you see anything about, apart from in God we trust, like in Buddha we trust on, on the dollar? No. There's not just one name. Amen. But this is the name now we are turning upside down. The scholars have been going to the extent that they, they are turning the Lord of favor the Christians or even that kind of make that name so special on the dollar that we should not mention it in schools. Amen. Bible let us understand that we shouldn't be deceived because God cannot be mocked. Whatever you sow, that is what you, you reap. Amen. So when the laws, when the rules are out of order, what should we do? in such a time. When one bounce into a church, start killing people, kill your senior pastor, drag him on your floor, and you are left, what should you do? When you see all such things going on, Jesus made mockery of, what should we do? Amen. When it happens like that, the Lord is telling us what we should do. He's saying that He is an unchanging God. Amen. If you read the book of Hebrews, chapter 13, the verse 8, can you please put it on the board for us? Hebrews, chapter 13, the verse 8. The verse 8. It says, Jesus Christ, the same yesterday and today and forever. Amen. Amen. We are serving a God who never changes. And the very time he remains whom he is, is the time he rose from the tomb. Amen. Yes, yes, last week we enjoyed the death, the barrier, and the resurrection of Jesus Christ. How sweet that was. How marvelous that was. Amen. How wonderful that was. Because they killed him, they buried him, and he rose again. Amen. And the beauty of it all was that on the cross when he was being taunted when he was being trembled on when they make mockery of him you said you are the son of man you are the son of God why don't you save yourself and come and serve us save, you, save yourself amen amen let us didn't know that This indeed whom he is. Even if, with all what he was going through, he still shouted, Father, forgive them. But they do not know what they are doing. That word that was spoken made us who we are. Amen. The Lord we serve is the same yesterday, today, and forevermore. Amen. So when things are just crashing, Things are being turned upside down. The Lord still wants us to know that He is still the same God. Amen. He never changed. Let's read the book of Psalm 91, 99, the verse 1. Psalm 99, the verse 1. Ninety-one. 
He did not deny. He said, The Lord reign it. Let the people tremble. He is seated between the cherubim. Let the earth be moved. Amen. God is still seated in his cherubim. Amen. He still reigns as a king, irrespective of what is going on on this earth. He said, He is seated between the cherubims. Let the earth be moved. Be moved. Amen. He's still a mighty God. He never changed. It is the, the earth that should do what? <laughs> oh, thank you, Jesus. He said the foundation of this earth. So he knows when to move it and when to let it stand. When to shake it and where to let it remain still. Amen. When the foundations of the righteous is being destroyed, what should you do? You need to run, you need to attend to his word. The word of God is the purpose of what? God. Let's go to the book of Hebrews chapter 4. The book of Matthew chapter 24, the verse 35. Very quick. You need to attend to his way. When you see what is coming, going on around us. All the crazy stuff that is going on. Right now, let me take a mega, a small megaphone and stand by some somewhere in downtown and start to preach the word of God. And start revealing all the crazy stuff that is going on. The police will come right away. But let a magician stand at the corner and start turning paper to money. Shifting individuals weak to one another. They take one week, this my 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 um, angels weak over here. She, they take it from here, they, they put it on a man's head, and they take a man's head. You will see the priest that you do. I mean, all the police will come and stare at them and they'll be shaking the, making all sort of noises. Amen. But when you speak the word of light, he says that heaven and earth shall pass away, but my word shall not pass away. Amen. The word of God remaineth. It never changed. So God says when we see what is going on, we need to be very, very closer to the word of God. And as we go closer to the word of God, then we need to exercise the tools of the fear of God. What are the tools of the fear of God? Pray. Amen. See him as your king. Have, getting very closer to him. Having personal intimacy with him. God said that I may know him and the power of his resurrection. Amen. It is not only believing, being a believer makes you, makes you a, a full time or a perfect Christian. Amen. It's about knowing him and knowing him well. You, saw, you cannot run away from a cockroach. By leaving your child behind, when you say you believe in God, your father, your, your your daughter or your child calls you. But there is this an aunt. You see the aunt, and you, before you see it, you are even gone. You are gone, leaving your child there. Nah. Your your child talks of headache, and before he even opens his mouth, you've called nine one one. That doesn't make us full time Christians. Amen. At least we need to have small oil and power. He said when he called us, he didn't just call us, he gave us power, authority, dominion. So when it happens like that, we need to exercise it. And the more you get closer to him, we exercise it. Amen. The word of God remains the same. So when we see things unfolding like this, we need to know that 
his word he said heaven and earth shall pass away but my word shall not pass away his word is stand still the same amen. amen and again when we see this crazy stuff going on where things are turned upside down we need to still know that we are his people amen we are his people The book of Psalm 139, the verse 14, let us understand that we are fearfully and wonderfully made. Amen. Right from the book of Genesis, he said, he, he created us in his same image. Amen. He knows our, our the every day, every minute, every hour, every month of us. Amen. Our steps are in the hands of God. But at times it is kind of it will be kind of crazy if you read the book of Psalm one downwards. It was an advice to David about how his enemies are gathering momentum to strike him, how they've taken their bow, putting in their spear, arrow, and about to shoot. At times it is crazy. Yes, if you read the book of Second Chronicles chapter twenty, it explains it. How the enemies of Jehoshaphat were coming against him. The Moabite, the Jebusite, the pesticide. Amen. All the side, all their enemies were coming again against him. And you, you see how they were passing the information to him. In fact, if somebody sees something coming, the radius of the storms coming from the other side is running, he meets you and is is narrating what he has seen to you, you know how it is going to be. But when it happens like that, what do you do? Amen. It's like Moses being caught between the Red Sea and his adversaries. Here comes the Pharaoh and his chariots. The, the, the sounds of the chariots alone put you to death when you don't, you, you don't have God. And that is how the other uh, his people, uh, the people of Israel, saw it to be. Amen. But when it happens like that, what do you do? He says that we are fearfully and wonderfully made. Amen. Let's read the book of Psalm 103. My time is almost up. Psalm 100, the verse 3. Oh, thank you, Jesus. Psalm 103 says, Know ye that the Lord, He is God. It is He, He that has made us, and not we ourselves. We are He, His people, and the sheep of His pasture. Amen. Regardless of what is going on, God knows us, He has made us. Amen. And if you read the book of Revelation chapter 1, the verse 6, very quick because of our time. Revelation chapter 1, the verse 6, please. It says, And hath made us kings and priests unto God and his Father, to him be glory and dominion forever and ever. Amen. Indeed, God has made us so special. At times, what we are going through, God uses to what? To remove us. To perfect us. To give us a crown of righteousness. To, to build us. So there is no way to fear. All we need to do is to know what we are to do when said times comes. And that is what the Holy Spirit is telling us getting closer to him, knowing more of him. Amen. Lastly, let's go to the book of 1 Peter chapter 1, the verse 7. That the trial of your faith be much more precious than of gold that perishes, though it be tried with fire, might be found unto praise and honor and glory 
at the appearing of Jesus Christ. Amen. At times, God lets certain times come that it will mold our faith in him. You know, regardless of the sweat that you put down when you want to transfer gold to real gold, regardless of what the process that it goes through, it will still perish. I've never seen an athlete that's received so much honor, the gold, that died with his gold. Amen. So with all the training and all that, whatever stuff, the gold and whatever you acquire will still perish. But your faith, amen, your faith is going to be eternally. Amen. That is going to lead you to the throne of the king that you will exercise it over there too to his glory. And it is not something we, we just take it on a silver platter. He said, the kingdom of God suffers what? Violent. Amen. So, at times you need to beat yourself to get to that level of faith. Last time I was listening to a pastor and uh, so one, one guy came to his feet. He said, I want double portion of your giftings. And the pastor's, in the pastor's prayer, he was like, whatever have been through, let this guy go through. Amen. So if he, if he says whatever I've been through, he knows what he's talking about. Amen. Jesus Christ, the one we follow, he waited 40 days, 40 nights. Amen. And it was whenever he was filled with the Holy Spirit that he did exploit. So whenever we see certain things going on, it's about time God is speaking to us to get very closer to him. To, to refine us, to prepare us for a different level, level of, of what? Power. Amen. This morning, God is speaking to us sure. that if the foundation of the righteous is being destroyed, is being removed, what are we to do? Jehoshaphat cried unto his king. Joseph, Moses, cried unto God that this is the voice of your people, taunting me and raising all sorts of curses on me. So speak. And Bible let us understand in the book of Psalm 46, the verse 10. He said that be still and know that I am your God. This morning, that is what God is speaking to us. That we should be still and know that He is, he is God. The only thing we have to do is to know that He never changed, His word stands still, and we are His people. We are the apple of His. I. Father, we thank you for such a visitation. We magnify your name for such an encounter. We said, your word does not come for coming sick. It comes to accomplish the purpose at which it is sent before it returns back unto you. You said, your word is sharper than tooth a sword, and it cuts the ascender. Father, this morning may your word that has come that is working with, with us bring a turn around in our life in Jesus name have we prayed Amen Hallelujah you can do better you can do better you can do better you can do better, you can do better. Hallelujah God bless you God bless you God bless you Thank you for the word. God Richard bless you. Amen. Increase your anointing. Young pastor, God bless you. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. Let's give one more, one more, one more, one more. Hallelujah. If the Christian foundation is being destroyed, hallelujah. That's a powerful word. Amen.
Let them walk up Jesus. Let give them to do what they are doing. They will go and meet him over there. Hallelujah. They will go and meet him over there. I was watching uh, this uh, YouTube of uh, uh, this, our former president, Lawrence. See how many people that came? I was looking at them. You can how many people? A lot. They were, you know, showing them in the YouTube. But my question to you is, where is he now? He's going to meet the man over there. So whatever they are doing, the master is there. They are making him popular, even though they are making him popular. They are mocking at him, but at the same time, they are making him popular. Hallelujah. Because our master is master. No matter what, he's a master. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. Okay, this is uh, a time of uh, tender. We get one. Uh, this is more important. Hallelujah. Pastor, God bless you for the word. So, uh, my dear daughter,
King of kings and Lord of lords, we thank you. We honor you and we adore you. Your word let us understand that your word never changes. It is the same today, tomorrow, and forevermore. Though heaven and earth will pass away, but your word remains the same. And your word let us understand that we should test you with our grace morning and see if you will not bless us overflow. Father, that is what we have done. Let it be overflow blessing upon our soul and be a blessing to your church in Jesus' name. Amen.